Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I've got two Apple Silicon Macs. I've got the MacBook Air M1. Now this one has eight gigs of memory and 512 gigs of SSD, which of course is a storage. And behind me over here, I've got the Mac Mini M1, and in it, and this is its monitor, I've got 16 gigs of memory, which is the max memory option, and one terabyte of SSD, which is of course storage. And what I want to talk about within this video is just performance observations. You know, check out my Mac Mini M1 videos. I've got a playlist full of them, and I've been using it for many weeks now, and it is just a, it's a beast. I mean, it flies. I do 4K video editing. It has dra radically improved my efficiency. You know, my video, 4K video editing workflow is so much better. And I've had, at the time of filming this, I've had this MacBook Air M1 for only a couple days. And that's because these things were in such hot demand that it took forever for me to get it. And I didn't order it immediately. I ordered, when these came out, I ordered the Mac Mini M1 like the second it came out. Because I was like, you know, this will be a good way to test the waters. And as soon as I got that, it's like, whoa, you know, now I've got to have a field computer. So performance, even though that one has 16 gigs, this one has eight, that one has one terabyte of storage, this one has five, 12 terabytes of storage. What have been my performance observations? I'm gonna be doing a lot more tests at the time of filming this. I've posted a, uh, a video where I do the, the Final Cut Pro 10 rendering speed of both. I, I do the same video clip and I render it on the, uh, on the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini M1 at the same time and it, it completed within seconds. Of each, they completed within seconds of each other. And again, this one has eight gigs of memory and that one has 16. So I don't think, so here's, here's my thoughts. These both run the M1 CPU. This is just in a very slim package. Now, would I have gone with the MacBook Pro 13 inch? No, and the reason I didn't, this is smaller. Um, this does not have that touch bar, which I had the touch bar and a couple of MacBook Pro Intels, and I didn't really like it. It was just kind of gimmicky. So I've got the physical buttons on the MacBook, MacBook Air, which I like, but I've also got the touch, um, you know, the touch ID, which is nice. So as far as performance is concerned, these things go neck and neck. They're, uh, and I've got to do some more just very crazy performance testing, but most of what I'm going to be testing is going to be in Final Cut Pro 10. So if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see me test with these two systems, just ask and I'll try it. But the, you know, the short answer is that either the MacBook Air or the Mac Mini, if, if you choose to get either one of these systems, you're probably going to be blown away. I mean, it's, it's incredible the amount of performance that Apple has packed into these, uh, into these two uh, systems, you know, it's their first Apple Silicon Macs. And, and it's just, I mean, it, it, is, it has blown my mind. It has grossly trumped the performance of Intel. Obviously the Mac mini is not a laptop. So, you know, you're plugging it into the wall. What's so cool about the MacBook Air is that the battery life on this thing, and I'm not just talking about surfing the web and, and doing very casual type tasks. I was editing videos on this thing, on this MacBook Air this morning. I was exporting those videos from Compressor. I mean, I was fiddling with this stuff for maybe, was it an hour, hour and a half or so? And I looked at my battery life remaining. It was still well above 80%. So these things are super, super duper energy efficient. So, you know, if I was only going to get one system, would I go with the Mac Mini or would I go with the MacBook Air? And, and it, you know, and, and again, at the time of filming this, there's three M1 systems on the market. There's the MacBook Pro 13 inch with M1. There's the MacBook Air with, one, with M1. And then there's the Mac Mini with M1. If I was only gonna get one system, I would get the MacBook Air M1 simply because number one, it comes in this really cool gold color, which, which looks kind of cool. But the fact that it is also portable. So, you know, if I need to, if I need to close her up and, and take her out in the field, you know, I could do that. If I want to plug it in at my desk, I can plug it into this large monitor here. It's got two, uh, two USB-C. Are these Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4? I forget. I think, check the specs. 
within this video's description, but they're USB-C and they're also either Thunderbolt 3 or 4, I forget, but you can plug a monitor into this. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. And it's, uh, you know, if I was only going to have one, that's, you know, I would go with the MacBook Air M1. But I've got two, and the reason being is that I like a proper desktop computer in my studio. Because this computer behind me, this Mac Mini, it stays connected to my 14, yeah, 14 terabyte external hard drive, which I, which I back up to the cloud. And if I ever disconnected that hard drive, I think for more than 30 days, then my cloud backup would disappear. So it's advantageous for me to keep that connected so that all of my important video clips that I've captured from, you know, while traveling around the world this year, it's been kind of gimped because of the COVID situation. But, um, you know, I like to have that plugged into a proper desktop. So that's why I've got the Mac Mini. Performance between these things are pretty much spot on with one another. Now, it's going to be interesting to see when the Apple Silicon iMac comes out and the Apple Silicon, uh, you know, maybe they do a Mac Pro or whatever, to see how ridiculously powerful those are. I will probably get the iMac just because I want a nicer display. This is a 4K display, which works, but you can't argue that iMacs, iMacs have the best display out there on the market today. I know there's the extra, was it the Pro whatever XDR displays that Apple sells are ridiculously priced, but for, you know, a price point that's reachable by most, that's accessible by most consumers, it's hard to argue that there's anything better than the iMac. So for that reason, I probably will get the iMac when it comes out. But both of these, the Mac Mini M1 and the MacBook Air M1 from a performance perspective, and even though this one only has 8 gigs of memory instead of 16, from a performance perspective, these things are pretty much neck and neck at least from what I've tested so far. So share your comments below. What has your experience been with the Apple Silicon Max? Maybe you haven't messed with one yet. You have questions. Is there something you'd like me to test? You know, since I have the Mac Mini M1 and then also I have the, the MacBook Air M1, is there something you'd like me to test that may help you to, uh, you know, to, to make your purchase decision? So, you know, it's, it's a great system. And I like to have, I like to have this in the field and that in the studio, but man, if you're on the fence about this, these these things are incredible, and it's uh, it's and this is just the beginning. I mean, these are the first these are the first Apple Silicon Macs that were released. So, uh, tell me what you think within the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell icon when you do, and that'll notify you whenever I post another video. And if you're looking for either of these Macs, expand this video's description and then click the link there, and you can find where to order them online. These come in a variety of different colors, too, that the MacBook Air does. Unfortunately, the Mac Mini is only that silver color. This comes in a uh, gold, which I have here, space gray, and silver, you know, if you wanted to match that color. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good day. Hey, y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.